We can now start counting the days until the iPhone 12 launch event and we've just had a leak that the iPhone 12 5G speeds may be different for different regions in the world and we have another iPhone 12 color leak as well. Of course I want to tell you all about them so here is my latest news about the Apple iPhone 12 release date and price with my latest iPhone 12 review of designs and specs. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. We don't have long now until the iPhone 12 launch date and we have the latest leaks for you, including news about the 5G speeds around the world for each of the four models. Also we have a leak of the iPhone 12 Pro possible colours that I want to share. As I say every week, if you follow my channel already, you will know I do a weekly video of all the latest leaks we have found out during that week for all you Apple fanboys and girls for the iPhone 12. Then after I do a recap of such details for all the iPhone 12 model specs and the Apple iPhone 12 launch date along with the iPhone 12 price we expect to pay for all the upcoming models. But first, before we go on any further, this channel has just hit 30,000 subscribers. So I'm so happy and really, really thrilled about that. And it's all thanks to you guys for all your support um, in watching these videos. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be making these videos. So I want to give something back to one lucky subscriber, and that is this. It is an iPhone XR. It's the 128 gigabyte model. It comes in black, and I'm going to let one lucky subscriber get their hands on it, and I'm going to tell you the details how you can possibly get this later on in the video. So stay tuned. Anyway, let's dive on in on the latest iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro news. So since the iPhone 11, there's been lots of iPhone 12 leaks given, and if you want all those previous details, check out my other iPhone 12 videos on this channel. They are worth a watch to get the latest leaks. So let's start with that leak of the iPhone 12 5G speed news. So by now, as everyone expects, the iPhone 12 will have those upgraders attendants to jump from 4G to 5G. However, a new report suggests that not all 5G devices will be created equally. According to the company called Fast Company, a report is showing that only the iPhone 12 Max Pro will contain the latest, fastest millimeter wave (mm wave) 5G technology. Now, for all you nerdy people out there, you'll know what this means already. For the little less nerdy kids like me, what this means is all four models in the new iPhone 12 line will support the standard, more common sub-6 type of 5G service. But only the iPhone 12 Pro Max will also support millimeter wave 5G. The source says that only the largest phone in the line has room inside for the special antenna design required for millimeter wave and the larger battery needed to accommodate millimeter wave significantly from the power drawer that it uses. In short, what this means is the iPhone 12 Pro Max model will basically be able to receive the faster type of 5G out there. At the end of the day, for now, 5G rollout though is taking longer than initially planned, so most of us won't have 5G in the areas we live in now unless you live in a big city that supports it. However, before you decide that you should only get the iPhone 12 Pro Max as it has these antennas, I must say only the US, Korean and Japanese versions of the 12 Pro Max will contain MM Wave 5G tech. And this is due to these countries acquiring these frequencies in the 5G bid. However, again, there are not many of these cell antennas masses about in these countries at this stage, and it may take a good few years for them to cover most of those countries. However, for everyone else, don't feel so let down by this news. 
4G was set up very similar, where other countries have 4G cell masses and frequencies that are faster compared to other countries with 4G as well. At the end of the day, other manufacturers like Samsung will be putting these antennas into their phones already now and also in the future. So it's not like it's an iPhone or an Apple exclusive to put these antennas inside the actual devices. The other leak we have is what to is to believe the iPhone 12 Pro colors will be. If you've watched my video from a few weeks ago, I revealed the predictions of the normal iPhone 12 colors. But now we have the iPhone 12 Pro colors from Apple Hub, and they look to be a space gray, a silver, gold, and a gorgeous new navy blue. For any of you sharp-eyed viewers, you will notice that the midnight green is missing. I am for one an iPhone 11 Pro Max owner and I have it in midnight green and I'll be sad to not have this color this year. However, I am sure the new midnight blue color might be the new favorite color for iPhones. What do you think? Will you be getting one in that color? So with those two leaks out of the way, you'll be wanting to know the iPhone 12 release date. So normally Apple always does an event in September for the iPhone and Apple Watch in recent years. However, this year we'll be getting the iPad reveal first before the Apple Watch and the iPhone 12. We have been informed that the iPhone event will be happening on October the 12th with the normal iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Max releasing a week later. However, we've been also informed, and it's quite understandable due to the pandemic, the iPhone 12 Pro models will be coming out in November time, but no exact dates have been confirmed as of yet. So that giveaway I mentioned earlier, to be in a chance to get the iPhone XR in the giveaway, make sure you've hit that subscribe button and the bell first. And then I want to know from you if you own an iPhone at the moment. What model do you have or maybe you even prefer an Android phone? I would love to know in the comments below what phone you currently have and what is going to be your next. With the latest Note 20 launch and the soon to be iPhone 12 release will either be on your shortlist? Let me know below for a chance to be in for the giveaway and when we hit around 50,000 subscribers I will reveal the winner. So with those leaks and the release date out of the way, this is where I do a recap like in all my other iPhone 12 videos of everything we know about the iPhone 12 models, specs and price. So let's start with the standard iPhone 12. And this iPhone 12 is the smallest one that will come out this year. It has a 5.4 inch display and it will be an OLED display this time instead of an LCD display that we have had on the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XR and previous other iPhones as well. Its resolution comes in at 2340 by 1080. Now there has been rumours going around that all the iPhone 12s would have a 120Hz display. I'm afraid that is not the case here. It will only have a standard 60Hz display definitely on this iPhone 12. But though you will get 4 gigs of RAM inside this iPhone 12 with the options of 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes storage options. On top of that as well, you do get that A14 Bionic. This is Apple's newest A chip and it will have 5G connectivity. On top of that as well, the actual phone body will actually be made out of an aluminium body this time for this iPhone 12 and the next one we'll see in a mo. On the back, we have a very, very similar setup to the iPhone 11, where we'll have a dual camera setup. However, though, we have been told that the camera lenses will be changed this year to be better. On top of that as well, the battery inside the iPhone 12 will be a 2,227 milliamp battery. The base model is coming in at 699 US dollars and that will give us the 4 gigs of RAM and the 128 gigabytes storage space inside. So the next iPhone is the iPhone 12 Max, not to be confused with the Pro Max, it's just 12 Max. 
and this iPhone will feature a bigger display than its little brother with a 6.1 inch OLED display. If you recognize 6.1, yes, that is the same display size as the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XR. This display, like I said, is an OLED display and it comes in at a 2532 by 1170 pixels. Again, it will have a 60 hertz refresh rate as well. The specs are very similar to that 5.4 inch iPhone where you'll get 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs or 256 gigabytes storage options. Again you get that brilliantly new A14 Bionic processor with 5G connectivity and that body for this iPhone will be made out of aluminium as well. For camera setup, like I said, on the other iPhone it will be a dual camera setup but we will see some new lens on it. For battery size we get a 2775 milliamp battery. The base model for this one is starting at 799 US dollars and that will give you the 4 gigs of RAM and the 128 gigabyte storage option iPhone 12 Max. So those are the normal iPhone 12s as it were out of the way. We are now stepping into the Pro territory and the first iPhone 12 Pro we have is a 6.1 inch display iPhone 12 Pro. This is an increase on the 5.8 iPhone 11 Pro that came out in 2019. Again it has an OLED display and again it has that resolution of 2532 by 1170. Now the next bit of information will get in conflicts. We have heard that the iPhones and all the iPhone 12s this year will have a 60Hz display. However we have heard other leaks as well there is a possibility of 120Hz but no one can confirm which one is true and which one is not so we'll just have to wait and see closer to the time. This iPhone though does come with 6 gigs of RAM, it comes with a choice of 128, 256 and a 512 gigabyte storage. Again it has the A14 Bionic with 5G connectivity, but the frame this time of this body of this iPhone is actually made out of stainless steel this time. On the back we will again get that triple camera set up and this time there is a possibility that we will have a lidar sensor. This is the same sensor that is on the 2020 iPad Pro. Again this information keeps conflicting that we will get this or not but we'll just have to wait and see. On top of that as well we have a 2775 milliamp battery inside the same as the iPhone 12 Manx and the base model is coming in at 999 US dollars for that 6 gigs of RAM and the 128 gigabyte storage option. Finally we have the last one, the beast. We have the iPhone 12 Pro Max and this iPhone comes in with a 6.7 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2778 by 1280. Again we're unclear if it'll have the 60Hz or the 120Hz just like the smaller Pro and again it comes with 6 gigs of RAM, the choice of 128, 256 or 512 gigabyte storage options. We get that A14 Bionic with 5G connectivity as well and on top we also get that lovely new stainless steel frame body. The camera setup is similar to the Pro, we will get that triple camera setup and again that conflict of knowing if we will get a lidar sensor or not. The battery inside this iPhone 12 Pro Max is a 3687 milliamp battery size. The base model is coming in at 1099 US dollars and that will give you the 6 gigabyte RAM model and 128 gigabyte storage. For ports on all the iPhones, they will feature a lightning connection, not a USB-C. Apple still believe that many iPhones require a lightning connection at the moment because there are still many accessories that require that. However though, inside the box of the new iPhone 12, you will get a lightning cable to USB-C end. And also as I have mentioned and I've rambled on before and I'm not going to do it this time, that is you will not be getting a charger inside the box with that cable and at the same time as well, no cabled AirPods either. 
Finally, it's also worth noting that this year all four iPhones will be IP68 at 4 meters of depth. So this means if you're going to go away with your iPhone and you chuck it into a swimming pool, it can survive up to 4 meters of depth clean water up to 30 minutes before any serious damage happens to the phone. However, I wouldn't really try doing this. Watch somebody else on YouTube who does have a lot of money to waste and also check out to see if the iPhone 12 will survive 4 meters of water. With all of that being said, are you excited about the iPhone 12 and will you be getting one? Let me know below what model you plan to buy. Well guys, that is the latest and greatest info we have on the iPhone 12 at this stage. If we do get any more info, of course we will share it with you. Don't forget if you like this video to press that like button and of course to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. Until next time guys, see ya.